YouTube. Y'all already know who it is. Finally. <laughs> nah, for real. Uh, I'm out here in Alaska. Had a minor setback. We had an earthquake out here. 7.0. Took a lot of people out. Not people is in depth, but took a lot of people out of their daily routines. Took me out of trying to keep consistency with this YouTube channel. Uh, no injuries to my family. Few personal items destroyed, but you know, everything's replaceable, man. So, glory be to God, man. Me and my fam doing great, man. So, let's go and get into it. Nick Saban, the greatest college football coach ever. It's really no debate. But his pride almost lost him that game against Georgia. <laughs> Tua. Had a certain performance a la Jalen Hurts the year before. And what exactly did he do to Jalen Hurts when he had that performance? Get over here! Snatched him out of the game. Snatched him. Tua got hurt. If he did not get hurt, Alabama, you would have one loss on your schedule. Of course, one loss Alabama still goes to the playoffs. A one-loss Alabama team still wins the ship. But that record would have had a blemish on it. When he didn't take two out and put Jalen in, they let me know something. Nick Saban gave up on Jalen Hurts a long, long time ago. Do you see when he gets in the games on those blowouts? Bama, they got to be up at least three or four touchdowns. You gave up on a guy who lost two games, two, in his whole career. He basically said, a hurt tool, two or two, I don't know, I don't know if I'm saying it correct. A hurt number 13 is better than a healthy Jalen Hurts. <laughs> That's telling me a lot, Nick Saban. And before you guys, oh, Tua was hurt, he was hurt. Anybody knows, like I know, once you step on that field, court, whatever sport you're playing, once you step out there, you are 100%. Because if you're defending me and you're hurt, <laughs> I'm at your neck like Adam's apple all game. My foot is constantly on your throat, and that's what Georgia did. Man, they was bringing the house. Tua could, could not get in the rhythm. He couldn't. Obviously, he couldn't get out of the pocket to make plays. Halftime, I just knew, oh, man, they're going to start off with Jalen Hurts. <laughs> you sure fooled me, Nick Saban. But did you see when Jalen Hurts got in, how he escaped outside the pocket? Man, obviously I know Jalen Hurts isn't the best passer. But you can tell that his passing game has progressed. He still can't read the defense, but that'll come with time, hopefully. That just lets me know, though, that he is trying his best. And for kids, man, for kids who playing in high school, sports, middle school, if you stay ready, you ain't got to get ready. Jalen Hurts not one time badmouthed his team, his coaches. I know a few cats on the team. Man, they had amazing things to say about Jalen Hurts. He did not bash anyone, put his head down, and he stayed constantly at work. And if you're friends with me on Facebook, you know, during the game, I made a status. I said, I hope something happens that Jalen Hurts has to get in and save the day. Because those same cats who was, oh, Jalen Hurts, he sucks, he sucks. You had to turn around and praise him. See, that's why I don't like Alabama fans. Y'all so wishy-washy. Y'all disrespect that young man, and he has did nothing to the fan base. He had did nothing disrespectful to the fan base, period. Jalen Hurts, my guy, you deserve the game ball. And you deserve the MVP as well. But we ain't going to speak on that. And yes, uh, I'm an Auburn fan. Before you guys get in the uproar, we will be talking about Auburn next video. We will be talking about the Gus Bus. If I'm still riding, you say you never, ever leave from beside me. No, nah, no, nah, but for real, though. We'll talk about the intramural middle school offensive coordinator they hired. We'll be talking about the program as a whole. 
And the DBs stink too, man. They stink. But that's for the next vid, man. Hey, but if you guys haven't, like, subscribe to videos. I stream on Facebook. The logo, Black Ops, Red Dead, 2K, man, whatever you want, I will stream, man. Hey, thanks for having me today. The logo, we out.